All right, hello and welcome to another deck highlight video. Today we're looking at the recently nerfed Loki. He went from a 3-5 to a 4-5. So obviously an increase in power is pretty bad. However, because he is now a four cost card, he now has a very obvious synergy with Zabu, who reduces the cost of your four cost cards. This is actually very good for Loki if you can run Zabu because if you pull four cost cards from Loki, then they'll be reduced by two power, one from Zabu, one from Loki. So you'll have two cost uh, four drops from your opponent. This also means that games where you aren't able to get your Loki game plan going, uh, you can utilize Nick Fury, who is now a cost cheaper, as well as tech cards to help you win like Shang and Enchantress. Uh, Enchantress is actually really good here because the biggest hate to Loki is Mobius and Mobius. So if you have Enchantress to take out Mobius and Mobius, it makes your game plan a lot smoother to run. Um, the only weird thing about this generally stock Loki deck is Daken. Daken's good because on one hand it adds a card to your hand, so it buffs Collector a little bit, and then you can win a lot of games where your Loki isn't able to get set up, so you're relying on just other power from the board. Daken is a really good source of that other power. And then we have Silver Samurai to proc the Daken, as well as cause some disruption in your opponent's hand. You'll see in the gameplay it actually works fairly well, um, but it is clunky at times as maybe it would be expected. So maybe some optimization could be seen elsewhere. But anyway, if you guys enjoy, please leave a like and comment and subscribe for more future deck highlights. Anyway, I'll see you in the gameplay. Alright, hopping into the first one. We have a pretty good starting hand, honestly. We can get Zabu down, and then let's see from there. Zabu, Daken, Silver Samurai. Probably a good playline. Probably Daken middle. And then Silver Samurai right. Oh, I should have taken Cloning Bats actually, that was so dumb. I should have taken right and then Silver Samurai. Samurai. Cool variant. Yeah, this is fine. And then next turn we can Mirage Loki or Collector Loki if you pull Collector. Quinjet? Maybe? I think I'm gonna do this. Just get a bunch of cards in hand, get them cheap. Is this the same one? No. Interesting. Okay. Um, we have four cards, this would be eight power. Their deck is what? What are these cards? They all do nothing. Power 
right? Like, that is very weird. Play Darkhawk right? Oh, he changed his location. Ah, oh, there's the rock slide. Yeah. What is their deck? That is the weirdest deck I've ever seen. Like, like looking right here makes no sense. Okay. Alrighty, hopping into another one. We have a really actually good curve, Quinjet Collector Loki. Um, but I mean, we're probably not going to play Loki on three. But I mean, we can't. Uh, we might have to skip three, honestly. It'd be kind of annoying if we did. But nothing you can really do. It's a Phoenix Force deck. So it kind of looks like, I, mean, I don't know, a lot of Human Torch decks. So I just assume it's a Phoenix Force. We shall see here in a moment. It does look like Phoenix Force. Um. thing is, is that we have Shang in hand, so there's almost merit to not Loki this game and just play our tech cards. I mean, I think this next turn is probably just going to be a Shang Loki play. Loki to fill Collector add power there, and then Shang to. I don't want to do that because I need to be able to Shang middle if I have to. Um, Shang to kill this Phoenix Force. I'll be shocked if they don't move Human Torch here. I'm not saying it's the wrong I play. Just the change location. I think we do this. Because I, I imagine that they move they move human torch right. And if they don't, we win right and then we tie left. We're gonna be adding five more power middle, go up to eighteen. I just can't see them adding power middle and just not moving human torch I, I don't see them just not doing anything here. So yeah, we'll win breaker. Should've probably snapped, but that's fine. And 
and we have 12. Oh, we have 10 more power than them, so. Victory. Easy win. Pretty linear Phoenix Force plays. Alright. This is game number three. We have Mirage Dakin, and then we have two tech cards, so feel pretty good. Uh, I don't know what this deck is based off it just having Forge. Could be Bounce. I don't really want it to be Bounce. Either. Just destroy. Just, just, just destroy. Um, this could be bad for us, the Tell Inferno. Huge that they missed the 50-50 there. Ah! Collector! <laughs> Carnage, that's actually pretty big. Um... The, the thing that's bothering me is I want a Quinjet, but I don't want a Quinjet and then just have them immediately killmonger me. So I think I'm just gonna Silver Samurai. Probably left, honestly. Just get the Daken up. Cool, oh, we hit the killmonger. Okay. That changes it a bit. <laughs> I think we just do this for now. I mean... We're missing, like, both of our win conditions, realistically, but that's fine. Actually... We did that, I think. Because Chavez will likely be our best play next turn. But... It's possible that it could actually be a tech of Enchantress Shang that turns out to be our best play next turn. And I think they might have just taken priority from us. Oh, uh, they did not. Okay. Well, they were in a more floundering position than we were, I guess. I mean, they they destroyed what one card? I think they just destroyed Deadpool. Yeah, they destroyed one card, and then we destroyed their Killmonger and Carnage, so that probably completely threw off their curve. And then they had probably a death they couldn't play and a Null that would only win them one location, so we could have just shot this right in one. Probably makes sense, honestly, that they retreat. All right, hopping into another game. We have, if we had Collector, I'd say we're in a good spot, but we're just kind of in a meh spot right now. We can't really get into Death Domain, and by we can't really, I mean we can't at all. However, we do have Dakin, so we can throw the Mermassa Shard in there, get a double power there. But we'll see what the card draws have us. That's a good one. So we don't need to use Death's Domain anymore. Probably take in middle. And then we're in no rush to Silver Samurai, really. Um. Just shove everything middle. Screw it. Yeah. 
Okay, I don't know what that goose is protecting. It's New York, my guy. Um. I still think I want a Loki. Maybe I don't anymore. It's only flipping three cards. Yeah, I probably don't Loki now, and then I can. Loki for the stat boost next turn. We'll move Dakin under the cover of night. By that I mean goose. That's 24 middle and then 14, 18 right. So they'd have to play 9 power right and a lot middle. I think we're fine. Because we beat Eliath. Oh, we have priority. So yeah, we definitely beat Eliath. Um. Plus four over here as well. I didn't consider that. What? They messed up order of operation? Victory. Um, I'm curious if that mattered. Because they had a nine power thing that got destroyed. I had a six power thing. So there's a three power difference there. We're up eight. Uh, we're, we're up six. It, yeah, okay, it didn't matter that his Killmonger was the wrong order of operations. Or wait. Oh no, it does matter. Because, uh, yeah. Because he would just add nine power flat here. They, they would have won the game. Well, yeah, I'll take the free win. All right, hopping in to another one. Lake Hellas is good because we have Quinjet. But okay, Lake Hellas is terrible. This is the worst location. Thanks, I hate it. Um, I'm trying to think exactly what we do here because we don't have Killmonger. So. God damn it. I mean, I do this and then I hope that we find Silver Samurai. <laughs> Sounds like the plan to me. I'm almost tempted to Enchantress left, um, but I know that turns off when 
jet. God. Um. I think we let it ride one more turn. See if we can get Silver Samurai, because if we can, that'd be really good. Um. Oh wait, no, I can't do that if we're letting it ride. Um. I just do this. And then if not, we can Loki. Hey look, my own copy of the fun card. <clears throat> um Not exactly sure how we snuck out priority there, but we did, I guess. Um, I think we just gamble, honestly. Like, if I'm staying, I think I have to gamble here that they either both go middle or Nick Fury blocks, clogs left, um, so Shang goes middle. Uh, I guess if I win, if to, to win middle, I have to have them both go middle. Uh, eh, we'll see. Not really the best day, but... Well, if Shane goes middle, then we're chilling. If we would've just played both middle, we would've won. Because we were at 13 before Shane came here. That's unfortunate. But that's fine. Alright, going into the last one. Playing a destroy deck, most likely. Um we'll go Zabu. And then Probably Dagon Silver Samurai. It's probably the playline. Uh, the hope here is that we hit uh, with Silver Samurai. We either hit uh, Dagon or not Dagon. Um, we either hit Venom or Deadpool. Those are the cards that we would like to hit. Ideally. Oh, we're guaranteed Loki now, so that's cool. Just now the question is when do we guarantee Loki? Um I think I snap. I, I think I snap because our cards, we're gonna have so many cheap cards to just like spew all over Morag. Whereas they're gonna have issues most likely getting into Morag. Especially after I discard a card. Cause they're gonna have, what, one card? Hit a Zola. Yeah, they have two cards. So we'll do that. Um, that doesn't put us upright, but we should be getting, just generally speaking, cheaper cards. So at least we'll be able to like spew into Morag or whatever. 
It might be optimal to play this left. I think I'm gonna play it left. Because we're playing a destroy deck, so I, if I can fill the right lane with like just a bunch of generically good destroy cards, that's probably the best. He had two cards in hand, so those were the two cards in hand. So now he doesn't have any. He has one card. Um. I'm tempted to Chavez middle and then Killmonger middle null right next turn I think is what I'm looking at I mean we can just null middle and kill monk <laughs> yeah I don't know that was kind of an interesting play uh anyway uh I hope this showcased the deck well enough that Loki still seems to be pretty strong even in what I would imagine is a pretty unoptimized version of this deck um but I think that it shows that Loki is still strong the 4 or 5 really isn't much of a hit at all he's still very powerful especially paired with Zabu and then you can run tech cards with him so if you guys enjoyed please consider leaving a like and comment and subscribe for more future deck battles anyway I'll see you guys in the next one Oh, and I guess here's where I'm playing at. I'm playing at probably around 26,000. Yeah, 26 and a half. So, not like the top players like Lambie, but hey, yeah, kind of good.